ma'am, the government is not to blame. The National Union of Mine Workers has been given every opportunity and has rejected offer after offer. Our last, a, a more than generous package worth 48 million pounds, was met with wholesale contempt. But that does not explain the blackouts. I distinctly remember you assuring me that the government had stockpiled enough coal to weather any storm, and yet here we are. It's true, uh, the strikes have lasted longer than we anticipated, uh, and the stubbornness of the miners and unions has been considerably more violent. I think we can safely say there has been stubbornness on both sides. And one does wonder if we have failed to understand the scale of the miners' anger. Indeed, if we have failed to understand them as people. <laughs> 